Hi everyone, Kathleen Miller here, holistic medium author and intuitive lifestyle expert. And today's YouTube tip, I'm going to be showing you how to do a crystal clearing salt bowl. And this is something I get requests from a lot of a lot of clients who feel like you know, maybe they went through a divorce, there was a lot of bickering, or there's some entity kind of energies in the house, or they just or they just feel like they want to just freshen up the space. And so this is something that um, I really love and have done for years myself, but I also recommend it when people just feel like space isn't quite as clear as they'd like it to be. And so it's so easy, super simple. Just take a simple dish. Um, you could do clear, you can do just, I, I usually like to do clear to kind of watch it because sometimes when you do this, you may find that the salt actually um, can change color. Sometimes I've had mine turn kind of grayish or um, it'll turn, I just got to get a couple different colors in it. Now, depending on the salt you're using, um, I do recommend using like a dead sea salt or I actually have a couple different salts here. I have some from Peru. I've got some salt I just brought back from Hawaii. This is beautiful um, natural red salt. And then I also have some salt here from New Zealand. So I invite you to try different salts, see what you're drawn to. Um, to me, they have a little bit different energetic properties. And again, there's no right or wrong. You don't want to get too kind of in your head about it, but just gravitate towards whatever feels good for you. Um, and then, so what, all you're going to do is just take a simple, I just have a simple little clear bowl, super easy to find, Target, I think you can get these for like two bucks. And we, we want to do maybe not much more than an inch of water, okay? And then for this little demo here, I'm going to use the Peruvian salt, okay? I'm going to take a nice big, you want to do a really generous um, tablespoon. Okay, so, and I know that's not quite on screen, so it's about know a couple millimeters up um, there's no crazy right ratio obviously you want at least two to one maybe three to one water um, with that so it's going to be able to absorb and then what you're going to find is it's going to actually go up and sometimes it even will go over not all the time um, and that what happens is when it does absorb the salt is actually a purifier so it's going to absorb a lot of just residues in the air. Um, I've I've done it before when, you know, just difficult periods and different times or just wanting to really consciously freshen up the space. And I found that, you know, not only has it changed color a little bit, but it also, um, you know, I really just got more clear in the space going into it after um, that was completed. So, it definitely uh, can be a helper. And then of course, adding essential oils to it. I love lavender, uh, citrine. Uh, the eucalyptus oils are really great for that. Clove, um, all of the really pungent. Uh, another one is like rosewood or pine. All of those are great purifiers as well. And that's only going to, you know, all these pieces are gonna to add to that process. The next piece, which again is optional, it's not a have to, is just taking a couple little gemstones. Um, they can just, I, I like if they're raw. Um, once they're polished, you know, sometimes it can take their frequency down a tiny bit, but it's still going to be good. I have here a little piece of citrine, or this is a rainforest jasper, which is a really nice one that helps to uh, balance all of the elements, which for a lot of people in different homes, you know, that can be um, very useful to just balance energy. So I'm just dropping it right in there. I'm gonna add a little citrine to let them have a little party together. And then that's really it. And this is, oh, this is a moonstone. We'll go ahead and put the moonstone in too. Okay, so any combination of those, it just feels good. Um, you want to just obviously have this out of the way, but as close to the center of a room, or even if you wanna put it in the center of the home, and obviously if that's a walkway, you wanna have it out of the way, you're not kicking it or knocking it over. Um, and then just from there, you just let it absorb. I do recommend um, letting it absorb all the way until it's dry. And then once that's done, um, you can, you know, take it outside, like release it in the yard. Um, I, I kind of do, you can do a little prayer or blessing, just kind of thinking that for releasing. 
And of course, setting intention into this. If you are a Reiki practitioner, you can do Reiki on the water. You can just infuse it with prayer and just setting intention saying, hey, you know, my intention is to just really consciously clear and bless the space. So the frequency goes up, I feel better and all is well. So it can be as simple and as easy as that. Um, and, and this is also really good for if you have kids with nightmares, you can do this same process. Um, I recommend very soothing stones for that. So things like blue lace agate is very soothing. Rose quartz is very soothing because some gemstones are actually very stimulating. So you want soothing ones that are going to help with that, but a little lavender oil, um, and let that kind of diffuse. And that can also be helpful for insomnia and those types of issues as well. So I hope this has been helpful for you. And if you'd like to find out more about my work and my intuitive lifestyle coaching, you can find that at intuitivelifestylesuccess.com. So otherwise, I'd love for you to subscribe on my YouTube channel and please comment. Let me know what you think um, or other questions, uh, YouTube tips you'd like me to be filming. And uh, stay posted. I've got some free intuitive lifestyle um, classes. They're going to be coming up on Teachable very soon. They're all in development now. And otherwise, thank you so much and be well.